Hey everybody, it's Joe from greenlightsound.com and in today's episode, we'll be taking a look at Loop Cloud 5, an app and plugin package that gives you access to tons of samples and loops in a really intuitive and easy to use interface. While it is easy to use, Loop Cloud 5 does have some powerful search, editing effects and multi-tracking features that make it very flexible and easy to get creative right away. So rather than give like a full tutorial of all of the features of Loop Cloud, I'll be approaching this from the perspective of someone who doesn't frequently use loops and samples in their productions, since I mainly work with acoustic instruments. I do highly suggest you check out loopcloud.com, especially their tutorial section, which does a great job of covering Loop Cloud's basic features in detail. We'll do a quick overview of some of those features and cover how easy it is to kind of sync it with your doll and get creative right away, but not get into the nitty gritty of the uh, really deep into the details of how to use it since they do such a good job on their website. So right off the bat, the search function within Loop Cloud, right up here at the top, is really powerful and makes it easy to find samples and loops either through keywords that you type into the search bar or through browsing with tags for different categories, which are found right below here. If you type free in the search box, it's a big tip. It'll access all the free samples available to you. So you can use the free version of Loop Cloud and get free samples that way. Or with the subscription versions, you get these coins that you can use to purchase samples on your own. So if you're ever within a search, so for example, if I search for pad, if I wanna look for a synth pad, I get a million results and I'm getting kind of caught in these results and I want to go back to the beginning. I just click this home button and I'm right back to the beginning and I can clear that search. If you're working with a doll and I'm working with Studio One right now, all you need to do is insert the plugin, the Loop Cloud plugin on a MIDI track or in Studio One, it's called an instrument track. And that allows the doll to communicate with Loop Cloud and lock that sample preview into your DAW's tempo. So when I pick a sample or a loop, you'll find it down here. I can see that I am at 80 BPM my DAW sessions at 80 BPM, and I can see it's connected to Studio One right here. So really easy to sync those two up together. So the first thing I'd like to do is just find a drum loop. So if I go to the popular packs right here, I'm just gonna pick uh, Midnight Soul. Then I'm gonna click on loops to make sure I only access loops. And I'm gonna pick some drum parts. Let's start with the first one. Cool, I like that one. And once you pick a loop or a sample that you like, there are extensive editing options down here in this sample player. I can chop samples up. I can delete sections, change the loop length, change level, reverse, create fades, all kinds of stuff to really personalize loop. And all these tools are right down here, real easy to use. So the next thing I'm gonna do is talk about the multi-tracking features here. So you can see this is now inserted in what we call track one. I can pop over to track two track one will still be enabled and I can put a different element that I want on track two. So I wanna find a one shot pattern here, like a tambourine sound. So I'm gonna go out of this Midnight Soul Pack. I'm gonna go over to the search field, click tambourine. I'm gonna click one shot over here. So I just get the one single tambourine sounds I want and go through some tambourines. This one sounds fine to me. So now that I have a single one shot, I can select that one shot and pick a pattern that I want it to follow. I'm gonna go to hats and shakers and maybe do some shaker patterns here. Start with shaker one. And you can see it applied a pattern with fades and volume differences. And if I solo this up, Let's see how that works with my drums. Try some different patterns. Try a different tambourine hit. That works well. Great, so now I'm gonna to go to track three. I'm gonna find a bass part. I'm gonna go back to that Midnight Soul Pack. Actually, I wanna get out of this Midnight Soul Pack. Let me go back home, find something else. 
I'm going to pick R&B bass right here and see if we can find a track here that works. So I have a one shot on bass, not a loop. So I can pick that, go to my patterns here, go to bases, and do some maybe funk here. So I just apply some different patterns there. I could use a loop if I wanted to. And the last part, let's just throw in maybe like a guitar part. So I'm gonna make sure it's in the right key, automatically change pitch. So I really want to change the sound of this one. So I can go into some effects here, effects edit. I can add effects. So I'm going to kind of filter out some stuff in here. Let me go to this utility called dark. So I just kind of took off some of the high end there and I could do as many elements up to eight tracks as I want. And once I have it in there, I can get all my files purchased here and I can drag them right into my DAW. So I take this, download them into here. It's, I can take the original or the process track. So I'm gonna grab the process track, get over to my DAW, drag it right here. And now within my DAW, you can hear full loop I just created. Or alternatively, I could just take the original here, bring that in. If I solo that up by itself, it's that unprocessed original loop that I had as well. But here's the one with all the multi-tracks happening. So the free version of Loop Cloud is totally usable and has a lot of great resources. And you have various subscription plans that allow you to set amounts of points per month spent on these loops and samples. So overall, Loop Cloud 5 is a great resource for finding, creating, and editing sounds, even for people who are novices at working with loops and samples. So even though I primarily work with recordings captured by microphone, I can definitely see myself using Loop Cloud 5 to bring in loop elements to mixes and productions. It's a great tool. It also comes with a couple other plugins, some some virtual instruments, Loop Cloud Drum and Loop Cloud Play, that allow you to access different instruments and play them within your DAW. So there it is, Loop Cloud 5. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll see you in the next one.